Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Rim World Anomaly. Let's see, we have ooh, we could get some uranium. I mean, I guess that's good for building things. But uh, we got this mine. We can move. We're getting jade up here. I don't need more jade for sure. I don't need more steel either. But uh, it's not here nor there. You know, what? this is like literally just in the colony already. Let's just grab this steel. That's the easiest to grab, is the steel that's already here, right? So we'll do that. We got a volcanic winter going on. It's uh, not great. But really, it's just a, a hit to our crops. And I think the ones that are going to be most affected are the animals. As is kind of tradition. Also, a lot of them have the plague. And by a lot of them, I mean the puppers. There's a pupper plague going around. It's not great. It may sound adorable, but it's, it's, it's sad. It's also a lot of guinea pigs going around. You know, we could actually, uh, didn't mean to get the boomer at, but we could actually get these guinea pigs, get their fur, because for some reason their fur is worth a ton of money. And outside of that, we have a lot of people uh, recovering from shambler attacks. It was a, it was a rough, um, it was a rough cycle. So Missy is, you know, technically someone who could do all of the jobs that need to be done. I think the life cycle stage is technically adult now. Not fully mature, but an adult. By this point, we could let her out and let her just experience the world. Let's do that. Get out. All right. Missy is no longer incapable of walking and is not going to be wearing any cataphract helmets. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Summer clothing for you. We call it that, even though it's not summer clothing. I mean, you prefer no drugs, but you should still take your penicycline. All right, welcome to the real world. Just ravenously hungry and tired. Hope you enjoyed it in the box. You should probably, I mean, I guess you want to wear a shirt. Yeah, I get that. But yeah, you should probably go eat. Uh, we have some extra fine meals over here if you want them. Other than that, though, her mood seems fine. Um, Silver War should now be happy, as well as uh, Marjo, that she's not in the vat. It's a tiny mood boost. All right, and you're actually going to be surprisingly good at combat, so I'm going to move you over here for now. No passions, except in mining. But that's, that's a result of the pod. You know? So that's what happens when you pod grow a person. It's interesting, it's interesting. Oh, that's right. We need a new anomaly. A new um, entity. That's the word. Let's poke the void. Uh, after Bree is healed up. Yeah, we'll let Bree heal up. And then we'll poke the void. Hopefully get something we can use. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, hunting's going on. That's pretty great. Uh, we need to stop making fine meals now. Um, let's bring these back down to 50. Stop. Please. Okay, we may technically have space for some of them, but we have plenty of meals. We do not need to make more. Oh yeah, don't forget about this. This is kind of a big deal. We're going to try to get ourselves a War Queen. It's going to take a while. It's, you know, one of the longest adventures we got. Is waiting for this War Queen to get done. Hey, Fabricor. I had no idea what was going over here and what was actually working <laughs> on this. It's the Fabricor. And everything they make is normal quality. As are these sculptures. Uh, a War Merchant from the Red Hill Union is just randomly showing up. I know I didn't call that in. And of course, they're randomly showing up in the middle of the night. Uh, ooh, go trade. This is perfect timing. They're in this little section right here. Yo, War Merchant. Yo! They have a couple of warks. Or we have a couple of warks. Wait. No, they have a couple of warks. I want to buy these. I want to buy these. This is a, it's a pair of wargs. That's awesome. So what else you got? Clubs? 
did bows. You know, the pair of wargs is easily, like, amazing and worth it by itself. Here, have some crappy hats. Yeah, you can have those. Don't worry, there's plenty more where these came from. Um, here, have these shirts, too. You know what? We could genuinely sell these and replace them because we really could use the space. So let's just keep selling stuff. Anything that's damaged is easy sells. Mm. There we go. And then one more for good measure. Yep, that's good. Take it. Thanks for the wargs. All right, now we need to train them, of course. So get them training. And if we're lucky, they'll give us even more wargs. Okay. Into the cat zone you go. Which just means don't eat my food. Granted, you primarily eat meat. Actually, you need to be able to go in here to eat the meat, won't you? It's not even a primarily thing. They literally just eat meat. Um, yeah, I guess I'll unrestrict the wargs since they need to go hunt and or eat our meat. And I think that's fine. Probably. Got boomalopes over here. Don't really need them. But we got them. It is what it is. All right, Fran's fully healed. Come on, Bree. Let's get you fully healed so we can go ahead and do some stuff. That's right, Marjo also has that lung rot. It's only going to last for three days. She'll be fine. She'll probably be fine. All right, there goes some more guinea pig. For some reason, their fur is worth a ton. It's also deteriorating, so we kind of need to bring it in somewhere. I mean... I guess I could make a larger storage shed. Most of this is dug out as far as we can. Uh, Where could I put a shed? I mean, I guess I could cover this and have it used mainly for that stuff. That's an option as well. Where did Missy decide? Oh, you're just wandering around. You're idle. All right. Well, firefight at a one, patient at a one, bed rest at a three, uh, mining. Yeah, do that at a priority one. I could give you hunting. I feel like I need to work on other skills before we do that. And of course, if you got nothing better to do, you can always haul in clean. Hmm. Proximity detector went down. All right, come on, Bree. Heal up for me. Okay. Nice hat, by the way. We didn't really, um... We didn't really dye up any of your stuff, any of your clothes. But we don't have any dye right now anyway, so it is what it is. Non-ideal temperature. Oh, it is uh, cold. It is September. Bail! Bail still doesn't fight. Why'd you do this? Insulted Bail's eyes. Y'all sh should just know better than to insult each other all the time by now. Never works out. Oh boy. Squirrel's giving birth. <laughs> we now have more squirrel. We're gonna have a lot of squirrels at this rate. Um. Lizak, I think your mood is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Got some music going on in here. Doesn't seem to be any major reason. But I suppose I'm not complaining. It's now noon. Yeah, our growth rate is at 64%. It's not great. Uh, it's going to start getting cold. So I'm thinking we do a quick harvest of all the stuffs. Why did a husky die? The plague. Well, that, that makes sense. It's not great, but I understand it. How are the rest of them doing, then? Extreme. You're gonna die. You're dead. 
All right. Some of you may die. Others are doing just fine. So, I don't know what to tell you. Some of them just didn't luck out. Probably didn't get the, um, wow. Probably didn't get the care that they needed in time would be my guess, because there was just a lot of them. But it's okay, this five-day-old puppy lived. Major break risk on those knob. Well, go get a food. Go eat it some slop. Where is this? Over here? And why do we have a fire down here? If the flash storm's up there, why do we have fire down here? Randy, please. This doesn't make sense. Okay, Bree is fully healed, though. That makes sense. Bree's also in a bit of a mood. But you know what? Psychic Rituals will help with that. So let's go ahead and do this. You're the invoker. Everyone else just kind of hangs out and looks at how cool it is. Okay. Let's go do that. There we go. Poke the void. Dude. The flash storm's centered up here, but there's lightning strikes all over the freaking place. I guess we were also technically in a dry thunderstorm, I guess. Alright, whatever game. What else we got going on, OB? Gotta get a little bit more die. The void poking is complete. We will see what happens soon. You know, I put in the harvest order, but it doesn't seem like it's going that quickly. Oh, ah, well. Um, let's go ahead and make more kibble. I think that'll be a fabric core job, primarily. Speaking of which, what's your energy level at? 51%. You're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, make more kibble. We're going to need to hunt more as well. So, let's do that. Pillamore has inspired creativity. Interesting. Just hunt all these. Damn, might as well get the lopes as well. Okay. One cycle done. All right. And more, even more harbinger trees. We got a lot of harbinger trees. Okay, how's our proximity detector? Uh, proximity. Eh, we can't see, like, over here, but we can see right here, which is probably good enough. Everywhere else, though, we got good reach. I'm not going to put one over here just for that sake. I think this is fine. Just in case the only thing they send are a bunch of sight stealers. I'm hoping it's more than that, but you never know. It's far frickin' worse. Okay, well, now we have to worry about this garbage. Lyron, can I have you study it just while you're here and you're up and awake? Okay, well, Missy's going to go to the deep drill. Ugh, okay. Well, we do have a paramedic, which means we have something that can guaranteed find them once we get... Wow, it takes you forever to analyze this. <laughs> well, I guess that's me learning. Okay. You're just not good at dark study. Oh, and Marjo's in labor. Um, Any progress in learning to identify the biosignature? Surgical inspections won't find them yet. Wait, maybe uh, you're just right here, Jade. So I just figure, you know... Maybe carry her to the bed. Seems like a good idea. Alright. I mean, Vastella is our best doctor. Expected quality, 91%. Because the medicine skill could be higher. Because this is like, out of 10%, out of 5%. That must be it. 
Well, let's do it. Ever build that new crib? I did. Okay, good. Oh, there's two cribs in here now. Um, we only need one. For some reason, I... I don't know. I thought... I thought I had deconstructed this one. I guess I didn't because it was excellent. So, lesson learned. Alright, we're gonna have more huskies, too. Marjo is no longer incapable of walking. Wait, did the pain lighten up? Yeah, it went from debilitating to intense. It actually did lighten up. All right. Whatever. Okay. Missy, why are you in a break risk? Sunlight sensitivity. That makes sense. I understand this. I don't know my trees. Yo, can we get a... Get some rain over here, you jerk? Missy, did you take the uh, penicycline, by the way? You did. Yeah, and it doesn't affect your mood the way other drugs do. I knew that was going to happen eventually. Who's hunting this? Missy, get 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 away from that. Oh my god. Y'all are just the dumbest people. Missy, you keep running. Jade, you start shooting. Jade, shoot better. There you go. Okay. Done. Healthy child. What more could you ask for? Okay. All right. They don't call it Baby Marjo. It's uh, it's a boy. Sure, we'll call him Brandon, and he'll get him nickname later. All right. Cool. Uh, you put him right here at the end. Okay. Let me see, go get a food or something. I mean, I don't think you're that hungry, but, you know, do something for your mood. There you go. Another kid was born healthy. What else could you ask for? I mean, even Marjo's mood is pretty darn good, thanks to all that. Okay. So. Eat up. Parents are happy. Well, that's great. Okay, there you go. Drop them on the floor. Um, you don't put them in a crypto sleep casket, okay? Don't enter the growth vat either. There we go. Okay. Filling. Growing. Oh, there you go. I guess it's growing the growth vat is what you need to do. Okay, Missy, go ahead and put your, put your little bro in here and, you know, he'll be your age within, I don't know, how, how chronologically old are you? He'll be your age within two months. He'll be great. And I know that brings the mood back down, but, you know, it is what it is. It's all right. You know, you, do you want a childhood around here with gray flesh all over the place? I don't think you do. I'm just saying. There is no childhood here. Not in Brockwell. Or whatever we called this. Uh, a cold snap. Yeah, there is no childhood here. There's only pain. Oh, God. A toxic waste pack is on fire. It was a conduit. Um... Billings, can I have you extinguish these fires, please? Thank you. Because apparently the rain just sucks. Okay, thank you. I don't know where you're going to haul this in time, but someone will try, probably. Good opportunity to, I guess, go ahead and dump all the waste packs while I'm thinking about it. Ambrosia. Well, good for it. Too bad it's too cold for anything to grow. Really? Really? You, you gonna take up my crop space with ambrosia? Get that garbage out of here. At best, it's worth a little bit of money. It's gonna reach negative 10. And there goes our plants. Thanks, Randy. Randy just wants me to die now. It is that time once again. We've been there. It, we've seen this happen. And unfortunately, most of the animals are going to leave, too. 
So we need to make sure we get plenty of food. I mean, we have 339 food in storage, but we also are feeding like how many people? Uh, population. There it is. Yeah, we're feeding like 18 people. So, wait, does that include? Does that? Inc I don't think it includes the ghouls either. We got three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, it doesn't. They also have to eat meat. Believe it or not. Medical treatment needed. Why? What's wrong? Oh yeah, you got the lung rot still. Um, I think you'll be fine. You no, know, you need to get treatment. Hey, go rest. Snipe is made of masterwork cowboy hat. Well, good for you. Good for you. Marshall's also starving. Go get some food. Like, what the actual hell? Yeah, there you go. All right, just take care of yourself. That's all I ask. Okay. Let's see. It's seven in here, so we're fine temperature-wise. Probably get, we have four passive coolers in here, all taking up wood. Get those out of here. No wonder we're like low on wood all the time. Oh my gosh! And uh, the world is looking pretty cruddy right now. Go get some wood. Okay, do do that. Do all that. And we're making more chem fuel. I mean, I guess we need to. These things are going all the time. Okay, what about in here? It's negative 19 in here. We could use a heater in this room. Now let's just get a heater in here. And that'll work for now. These rooms are all cold. Why is this unroofed? Excuse me? Roof this, please. Parents room has been unroofed this whole time. Hypothermia, Lyron. Yeah, they they're they're going to get that. It's just something that's going to happen to them. One less cycle remaining. Nice. Nice. Right, so that's going swimmingly. All things considered. Uh, also get a light in here. There we go. Okay, someone take over this bed? No? Well, then I'm repurposing this. Easy enough. And then they need a... Uh... Well, they, they only need one heater. It's going in um, Perrin's room. Sorry, Perrin. But one heater, couple of vents, should even everything out just fine. The volcanic winter and the cold snap at the same time is a little harsh. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I said, he he just want they just want us to die at this point. Okay, temperature seems fine in all the rooms. Y'all I swear. They just fight each other for no reason. You know, Fran is the most likely... Didn't Fran come in contact with an enemy at one point? I think you're the first one we would need to surgically inspect. Wait, who came in contact with the Gore Hulk? I think it was just ghouls, which means no problem there. But at some point, I'm, I'm like... Pretty sure Fran got into a fight... Yes, with the Shamblers. Fran is the most likely uh, candidate. But can't do the surgery yet. And I don't really want to put her in the prison. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so... Good, good, good. Yes, temperatures are all good. Excellent. Nobody's going to die in their sleep. That's what's important. Unless you sleep in the hospital, apparently. Okay, well, I guess we need a heater in here, too. It's all right. We have a space for it right over here. It's, it fits perfectly. 
or at least perfectly enough. Anytime, lads. But thank you, Lifter. Really, y'all? Bail. Killed this. Oh, Silver War is going to do it, but I saw a bail here. Okay, there. That'll that'll bring the temperature up to where it needs to be. And we'll be fine. How are we on wood? We're at least over a thousand. So we'll be fine. Probably. And we have boomalopes to corpse up. It is too cold for any animals to live at this point. Which is not exactly great. What's your temperature uh, handling? Oh, you, you can handle up to negative 20. You're fine, Marjo. Chillings will be fine, too. Yay! 83 shamblers. Okay, at least they just, they're just they just going to wander. Okay. Keep everyone in the home area. We should be fine. Yeah, like I said, they're just wanderers. They'll stay here for a couple of days. Usually, yeah, two to three. If we stay inside, we'll be just fine. And since we're not getting any crops down here, let's just cut this off as home area for now. Okay. Don't even go out there. Turn this off as home area, too. Okay. Stay inside, stay alive. That's all you gotta do. They're not great for bio harvesting, unfortunately. So we're, we're just gonna let them deteriorate. Hopefully we don't use all of our wood during that time, but I think we won't. I think we should be fine. We're gonna be fine temperature wise, cause that's another 175 watts we're using everywhere. We just installed like four of them. We'll probably be okay. Right? So like an extra 700 or something? Anyway. Okay, make that kibble. We need to, we need to make sure this stays full. It's gonna be a harsh winter. We can, we can survive one month. 16 days. Actually, we can survive to the end of the year on the kibble. So on that front, we're going to be good. Excellent. Okay. Stop making kibble. Like I said, we have enough till the end of the year. Butcher animals. Make, get us more meat. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Squirrel meat. My favorite. Uh, yeah, get more. All I need right now is butchering. From you, at least. I had a feeling they were going to go north. I wasn't 100% sure, but I had that feel. I mean, we could possibly take 82 shamblers, but... I mean, if we got them over here and they got stuck in this chokehold, then maybe. But problem is, you know, as soon as they get mad, they're going to start attacking the buildings and the structures and everything they can, which is less than helpful. Is this seriously? Yes, I did leave that as home area. Ran, what the actual heck? What possessed you to come out here? This is so far away from literally everything else that's home area that I have no clue why you're out here. It's a 400 jade lying around now. Hey, the waste packs won't uh, completely dissolve while they're outside and, and frozen. They'll still deteriorate slowly. But that's fine. I appreciate how the snow highlights the polluted areas for us. <laughs> Makes it much easier to see. Okay. What's up, paramedic? How you doing? You need to charge. 
I wish I could just tell you to go charge. I mean, you will eventually. Oh. Well, that's not good. Note to self. The, uh... Yeah, husky puppy, get inside. Close the door. You're still going to be able to walk out, aren't you? Yeah, probably. Hypothermia on Mozeknov. That doesn't surprise me. I don't have a heater in this room. So you're just going to have to go find yourself a safe temperature. Especially while it's serious. Is this seriously a safe room? I mean, it's safer. What can you handle? Negative two. That's not safe enough. What are you going in there for? Go to an actual safe room. Like, we have actual rooms that are warm. That wasn't very smart of you. There, now you'll be fine. That's not fine enough! Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I hear animals getting hurt. Why are you all going out here? They're like going out in waves. <sighs> Put all the animals indoors. Uh, actually, just home area is fine. They're going to come in. They're going to be able to eat all my food. But this is better than letting them out. Where they're going to stupidly die to all these shamblers. For le absolutely no reason. Get in. Okay, those will get shot by the turrets. <sighs> of course they're going to attack the walls now. God dang it. Come on, ghouls. Let's go stop these idiots. Okay. Rainia, can I have you come down this way? Right here and attack. Damn it, that did if that woke up the horde. Get over here. Come right here. Actually, no, we're gonna get shot by the turrets if we come right here. Alright, well, we're gonna have to figure out what we do here. But we're gonna have to figure it out next time, because that is gonna be it for this episode of that plays Rimworld Anomaly. Actually, that only brought some of the horde. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. That's a stun. Because it'll keep coming and won't stop till it does. And then it will. But uh, thanks for watching this episode of RimWorld Anomaly. My name is Thet. I'm going to see if I can bait them. And I will see you in the next video. Everybody owes.